So previously we we got the data from database and then we, we can do also a crude operation operation. And then this tutorial we have to clean up our data. So you go back you go back to your backend and then go to plugins. So that's what we'll be doing. So when you deactivate uh, so we need to remove we need to remove all the tables and data so when you activate so we need to remove we need to add the dummy data so so that's what shall we be doing so when you deactivate we will drop the tables and then currently 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 we stay we are not doing anything whether we are deactivating or activating so so when we deactivate so we'll clean up our table we'll drop the tables and clean the data and when you acti activate it and then and then we'll create a table and we'll insert data and that's it so that's what she will be doing so go back to your so this one is the finished project and then change your one to 0 08 and 08 activate and deactivate and then should be fine and then move to another screen so go back to your development project so and then and then go inside the include and then we'll start with deactivating so so just so we will try our, our copy and paste just copy line 7 to 11 7 11 and then paste so there is nothing fancy here going here so we created we created we are already explained which we we're trying to drop the table and we we execute the query so that's is why is it so we drop the table if we found the table and then and then just save it because we already called the activate and deactivate method inside my plugin.php so if you go there scroll down so that's so when you deactivate it so we will we'll kick out this one and then it will remove it should remove the table so right now we activate the table and then let's see what, what will happen nothing happened because we didn't do anything So just forget about this error. And then, and then we deactivate it. So let's see, go back to your MySQL workbench and then connect to your, connect to your I, MySQL server and then and then and then should be fine so we don't have any password so this is our database and then as a user so you go to the top and refresh so we are refreshing the whole i uh, the whole server i think you can refresh here yep or oh, whatever so we we didn't have anything so we go back to, we go back to line 37 and then query so that's it so we got error so there's we we didn't found it we didn't find the table that's good so go back to your plugin and then and then refresh so so we didn't have any tables and then if you go inside here so we already remove it and if you're not sure and then and then you can check it by activate and then go to here you will you won't see any data where's it blank so go back to your go back to your i uh, active plugin activator php and then that's inside move to another screen i move to another screen and then copy lines to 34 
in the go to your your development project and then open the plugin active activator php and then just paste there so so we we are doing the same the same so we we create the tables and then we 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 make an id as the auto increment and then month is a batcher 30 so that should be 30 characters characters long and then see it amongst decimal and then we create the primary key id is the primary key so that should be id okay that should be id so and then we execute the query so we prepare the query and we execute and then and then we prepare for the dummy data and then we insert into that table that's what it is and you save this guy you copy and save that guy and then and then we try to activate So, so, so in here we go back. Before we go back here, we we go back there, and we refresh. So click here, we refresh the whole server. So that's our guys. Uh, you select this one, select by you. You can either do this way or normally you can select by clicking on the line numbers so you can select that guy so see select click by line number so that's selecting the whole the whole line including the i believe new line character so so this is our default dummy data and then you go back to your double uh, your wordpress back and then click on here everything should came as so as expected so we, we go here and then and then we should be we should be seeing so that's a pretty much everything but before you go before you go go to the my plugin.php and then go inside the function my plugin render and then in here so so if you want to sometimes you may want to hide something so you give it you give a new to i think this guy let me double check let me double check so we go back so we go back here and then we try to we remember that guy so that page name is share info so just i copy it i copy that otherwise i forgot so we, we you go back to your development project sorry guy so in here so you delete everything you delete everything and then leave the comma please so you add a new and then and then what will happen is it will hide your it will hide your your menu so this this guy will be disappear do we save do i save yeah save yeah no i didn't save so you refresh So one guy is gone. So we go. We we visit another tab. Another tab. And then we we visit another tab. So in here, you just type paste. So we knew that this guy is hidden inside our plugin. So there you go. So we we can you can hide the menus by by not just not adding the title menu title so so that's how you go and then this tutorial is really quick because when you when you activate the plugin and then when you activate and deactivate the plugin and then it 
what will happen and then also the uh, that area you see at the above is because we are reusing some of the header and everything that's why it's wordpress is confusing a lot and then just forget about that guy so if you if you it will be fine because we are doing deactivate and activate for so many times and uh, php is confused uh that's is pretty much everything and uh, i hope you learn you learn something and then and then uh, and then right now i believe i believe you can make you can make a dashboard with google chart or d3js so that should be the same and uh, i i prefer both sometimes it's google chart is easy sometimes d3js a little bit more i visually effective so <coughs> excuse me so you use so you know how to how to call the how to use php statement inside the javascript so that's how you learn and then that's what it is and then and then i hope you like it and then and then and then good luck with your development and then and then that's for me for this tutorial and then bye for now